Hi guys, welcome back. So, this video is all about the Shrinker Stretcher. The cheapest unbranded Shrinker Stretcher that's available on the internet and whether it's any good or not, right? You will have seen in the last video, link up there, of me unboxing some new tools and the Shrinker Stretcher was one of those tools. And I did say in that video that I wasn't expecting very much from it. And I wasn't disappointed, okay? I was not disappointed. Um, it doesn't do anything, okay? So, I've done some research um, on the tube, etc. as to how to fix this and what the makeup is within it and how it actually works. And I, I couldn't find a video that actually shows you how everything goes together and how it all works, okay? So there's anvils, there's clamping jaws, and it's really not that complicated. But I failed to find a video that shows the actual mechanism and how how it how it actually stretches the steel or shrinks the steel right there's lots of um descriptive bits and pieces about things but it doesn't show you the actual so i've stripped back the shrinker stretcher i've gone ahead and done that and the first piece i'm going to show you is exactly what i was looking for and it's not out there so there's two things in this video. One is how it actually works. You need to know that if you're going to make the decision to buy one. And two, how to fix it. You can watch that if you want. There's lots of videos covering what it needs doing. But how it actually works. Because once you understand how it actually works, then you can be pretty sure, yeah, well, when it comes, I can fix it. I know what I'm doing. And that's the reason why I'm making this video, yeah? So, uh, with that, let's just get stuck in, yeah? Okay, guys, just to give you an idea of the size of this shrinkle stretcher, as I did in the last video. Right? That's a four-inch flap wheel. So you can see, there's about three or four of those along there, yeah? And we have our handle, okay? So that goes back there. And I have a, f I have it in bits. And I'll just show you now what I was talking about. What we have is four of these little guys, okay? And they tread in here. And there's one, two, and there's two at the top for the top plate, okay? It goes down there, over that, and lines up. We're not gonna deal with taking all that apart, right? But it's basically four screws. And what I really wanna show you is this here. This is the mechanism I was talking about. So like I said, this bottom plate, okay, has two of these screws. A screw on there and this screw screws in here okay so when we have a look it screws into the base anvil okay that's what this screw does yeah and it's the same on the other side over here okay when we rope that take that down there out of the way this is really the bit that I wanted to see this is the bones of it guys right here yeah and what actually happens when you pull on the lever that's what i wanted to see and i could not find it and this will give you an idea of what happens so we have this top lever here yeah that's piv that's on a pivot here i'll show you on the side and we have here another pivot and when you pull your arm down let's get you up a little bit yeah when you pull your arm down you have a square piece of metal on the end here and it comes in underneath this square piece which is pivoted here 
and it turns it it pushes it from the bottom up which forces this down okay so that's the mechanism there that's a simple enough mechanism this one turns it up pushes it which takes it down at the front okay so that's what happens there now this is the bit that I couldn't find this is the actual makeup of how it actually works and what you actually need to see so this piece here is an anvil yeah it's a solid piece no holes on it it's just a solid piece and this right these are your clamping jaws and because this is a stretcher okay let me get that light so you can see what's going to happen because it's a stretcher these are going to come out the way that's the way they would you know form a stretch in the metal so the teeth on these jaws is like this all tiny little teeth all facing that way same on this side facing that way and up at the top on these jaws it's the same facing this way so when they grab the steel and on this side when both sides grab it when it, when when you close it it grabs the steel and as you lean on the lever it comes out this way and that's what I wanted to show so we'll do that now and you can see what happens I'm gonna that's right there is closing look so if we were to put in a piece of metal, it's in here we're putting it, yeah, and then when you lean on it, it's going to spread and pull the metal, or stretch the metal, yeah, and this is what actually happens, look, you see, so what's happening is the top anvil is cut diagonally, and the bottom anvil is cut diagonally here. You can see that. Diagonal. And the jaws are diagonal. Remember, the teeth are coming away this way. Lots of lines. They need cleaning out as well, guys. And when you put them together, and you and you lean down under the the, uh, the the bar, the lever. First of all, like I say, it closes on the metal there, and then it's gripping the metal now, and then as you lean more, the anvils come into action, and they spread, yeah, through the forces of the diagonal. This it for it it makes them spread out. They've already gripped the steel and now we're open again, back to open. That's the bit that I wanted to see. And that's the bit now that you can see. That's, you know, that's the bit I wanted you to see so that you understand how it actually works. Okay, so the next step is, guys, what was the problem and why it doesn't work? Well, like I say, if we take out just one set, the bottom set, you have two screw holes yeah and all that is for is sorry this cover yeah they go into that like that okay and there's a screw there and a screw here right and you have to these guys they just go in on the side okay so it's not a problem yeah they don't have to be, they only need to be hand tight. And it sits a little bit tight. It sits on this shoulder here, yeah? Like so. And then you put this guy, offer this guy on. And you will have a little bit of wrestling. And, and then you put your four screws back on. And you put in your, your two screws here right which are these little guys they go in here at the bottom at the front yeah
that's that bit explained yeah the next thing to do right is to make the shrinker work okay so that's the stretcher that's been in there and I've gone through that okay and the problem was um, as shown in some of the videos in here what I've done is I filed down this and this piece right and just to give you an idea that would be the problem right there in the center you see you can see now I filed that down a bit it doesn't have to be you know I didn't take a lot off it but here I had to make it so that you can see it there it's shiny yeah and it's got these grooves on it this way okay from right to left similar to what you see on top and that's the issue so basically you get a file and you file this part and you file this part until it's nice and smooth and flush and like a finish what you see on it there yeah and there's no grooves in it like up top here you can see those groove lines and that's basically what I've done now also okay something else to watch for is that they should be level okay now don't forget they come in pairs the actual lines on there is for stretching right so the that way and this one is this way so a shrinker is going to be the opposite to that so you can't or you shouldn't actually go at your shrinker pack or open that that's a separate piece and you'll always have just your shrinkers on the machine or your stretchers you know obviously they do the opposite thing to each other you would know that yeah so having these the same height or very you know as close as possible to be the right height what I've done is I have actually um, I'll set you up here guys um, what I've actually done is I've twisted this guy yeah twisted him around you know until and it can make a small difference so that's where I'm comfortable with that one yeah there's a small bit of misalignment in it this way because they should be they should be pretty flush yeah they should be and that's not bad there's a half a mil in it or whatever but it's really not that bad yeah you can see a little bit up here um, so that's the stretcher okay guys so it's time for the shrinker yeah and what we, we'll see what we have to do to it okay to make it work how bad is it this is as if, uh, this is how you get it now guys yeah so like I've explained these are the shrinkers okay and this is obviously the bottom one yeah if you remember the bottom one has this little screw on the block on the bottom anvil okay so this has got to be the bottom one okay and this is the this is the kind of condition it's not too bad we'll see it in more detail now in a second so these two right and this is the top one the top one has this like bail arm that goes over the top of it as you saw here right it has a bail arm so basically what we want to do now is what we're going to do is we're going to take these out guys so you see where I'm at here you can see that I'm going to take this off and put it over there take this off I know I've seen people grind all this as well there's no really no need for that you have an adjuster here underneath yeah that you can let it up or down so you don't really need to grind that and you don't need to grind here on the, the back of the anvil okay so 
we'll deal with this now and we'll see what we have, okay? So if we take it apart, it says shrinker, the other one says stretcher. You can almost see there's a little bit of rust stain on that. So this is a shrinker, yeah? And you can see, you know, it's not the cleanest. That looks to be all kind of blocked up. But a wire brush, yeah, might just deal with that. This is the this is the top anvil, like our bale, a bale arm, the top anvil, and the stretcher or shrinker, sorry. So let's have a look and see. Yeah. You can see that? It's all little lines, yeah? So, and that's meant to slide on here. And you can see there, look, there's horizontal lines. The oil might highlight them even better, look. Yeah? So it's not smooth. Uh, it's not too bad. I would say, because it's hard for you to tell, but I would say like point, point 0.2 of a millimetre. You know, and that one's not too bad. That That just needs cleaning up. Um, this is not great. Again, I would say if you are putting line, if, if you're going to create lines, create them this way. Yeah, not horizontal. That's the very opposite to what we need, guys. Okay, guys. You see that? As I foil on the outsides here and in the middle still, the grooves are more pronounced now. Yeah, you can see them. So we need to get rid of those because they're definitely, they're even in the wrong, you know, if they were the other way, they might wear themselves down, you know. And they don't even look like there's an issue there. But when you take off and clean, you know, with the file, you'll see. So. I just. Uh, Oil again. Similar situation, guys. Yeah.
can also do it if you do it very gently with some sandpaper. Don't go too mad. You don't want to take off too much off here. You only barely want to get rid of those lines, yeah? That's the quicker way of doing it guys, yeah? So if you have a four inch grinder and some sandpaper or a flap disc, a warden flap disc, you could do that. It's quicker, but you don't want to lean on it. You don't want to shift metal off of here really, very little. That's what we're looking for guys yeah you see now you shine on it yeah it's real smooth yeah and that's all it need that's all it needs okay so that's an anchor Okay, and this guy goes into that now, so we must do the same here. Clean these up, okay? That nice and smooth. And this one, I see something shaking. Yes, see, you know, that's an in look at that different widths. Okay, so that's what we're talking about that kind of thing. All right, the two blocks are even different widths, so it's a it's a quality control issue more than anything, guys. That's all it is, you know. Very little, um, you know, quality assurance. That's what we're dealing with. happy enough with that yeah they're smooth and that's all we're at that's all we're doing guys yeah there's some little line still there it's okay it's okay you, you know I'd rather um, not take too much off now what happens is they will close and open as they should right they're not getting caught on each other And these these two are kept together with this bale arm yeah there's a spring in the middle no screw hole or you know like I showed you before this one's just kept with the bale arm 
and these teeth on here are facing in the way and this is the same in yeah so it's squashing or squeezing in or shrinking yeah so i've got to clean the teeth with wire put a, i'll put a wire wire brush on there and clean it okay that's what i'm doing and uh that's the problem there was the problem that's the problem that's how you fix it right nice and smooth so i lubricate those as well and it's the same again guys here okay yeah you can see that you know when you give it a touch you'll see all those lines come up when you touch yeah and the same with the the anvil piece okay um that's it guys that's what we do to make it better okay here's our stretchers yeah that was the level that i went to with those you can see just clean them up make sure they're level across this way and that they sit central okay that's pretty much it guys yeah that's what you do to fix the shrink or stretcher okay um i won't hold you up any more than this and just to show you okay that i put a piece of metal in there and i finished up with that piece right absolutely delighted with this shrinker stretcher okay i mean i just i put this piece in and i started stretching and within five or six or seven I had this piece made okay i really can't fault this machine at all okay i'm absolutely i turned this piece right um just stretching along along let's see just along here i had this done in like a minute okay and for me guys to fabricate that you know you saw in the previous videos okay um sorry now for twisting you but uh, this area here i keep coming back to it uh, a little contour on there a curve yeah and to make this piece on the corner um compound you know it had to be welded and cleaned etc if i had had the shrinker stretcher for that job well you know it would have took a few minutes that's basically it it would have took a few minutes to make that piece no welding required no cleaning back required so guys there you have it um shrink or stretcher would i buy another one yeah why would i buy two well back to back yeah would be an unbelievable tool to have so i probably will buy a second one now that I know it works and it works good, yeah, I'm more than happy with it for 240 odd or 250 euros or whatever. Well worth the money as far as I'm concerned. Well worth the money. I did say I was going to brace it up and make it stronger, etc. Yeah, so that's probably still on the cards, but I would definitely buy it as a tool. Yeah, um, like I said, it, it, it done a job there that took about a minute to make and if you have to weld it and make it come if you're working with compound curves and you have to make all this stuff because you are making it um hours is what it takes anyway guys that's it from me um i hope it helps you in making your decision as whether you're going to buy um, a shrinker stretcher or that type you know unbranded as cheap as it gets um cheap as chips as they say yeah 
Um, okay, so until the next one, take it easy. See you all soon. Thanks for coming along. I hope that you found it interesting and you feel more confident about, you know, hopefully we will put that thing to rest now, you know, buy cheap, buy. I've always had expensive tools, guys. I always buy the best or what I can afford, yeah? In this instance, I'm saying the tool was worth the money and, uh, you know, the comparison, yeah? Yeah, it, it, it just goes way beyond that, you know? Uh, definitely worth the money guys I would buy it again yeah okay ciao thanks for coming along thanks for viewing thanks for your comments and your likes see you all in the next one um, please like that's your way of saying thanks yeah and I'll see you in the next one thanks guys ciao okay we're out here yeah Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go.